As the rainy season comes to an end in autumn, the streams in the Shenanjia Valley begin to run slower. For the little fork tail and other water birds, this is the best season for foraging. In the sluggish streams, fallen leaves sink to the bottom, providing rich nutrients for the countless microbes. Various insects find the stream an ideal place to reproduce. Whether it is larvae or little fish in the water or the insects spawning on the shore, the little fork tail favors them all. They can feast on the delicacies as they want. Shenanjia is filled with gullies and ravines, which little fork tails frequent in their search for food. Although in one particular valley, the little fork tail can scarcely be found at all. Located in the Mahu village in Shenanjia is a valley full of mystery. The water does not flow here, although on the soggy ground, traces of old dried up rivers can be found. The faint rumble from underground comes to disturb the quietness of the valley. As the sound gets louder, water begins to well up in the crevices from the lower position to the higher ground. When the uppermost and biggest holes start to gush with water, the burbling sounds like a natural symphony reaching its crescendo. With a flow rate of a ton per second, the water streams down, resounding throughout the valley. After about an hour, it begins to subside, and then the trickles completely disappear. Returning the valley to silence once again, all year round, for countless millennia. The mysterious streams have kept a promise with nature. They emerge from the crevices and vanish back into them too. Based on their characteristics, these effluent caves where the ebbs and flows come from are called tidal caves. For quite a long time, the phenomenon was an unsolved mystery. But today, modern science has evolved and has revealed nature's secret. The tidal caves are due to siphon springs. The way siphon springs form is quite unique. They require a good combination of factors and coincidences. The karst caves inside Shenanjia's massives act as natural reservoirs, while the torturous cairns serve as siphon tubes. It is this distinctive geological structure that triggers the siphon effect. The absorbed water is stored in the karst caves. When the water level reaches the top of the curving cairn, it begins to get sucked out. The process continues until the reservoir is emptied. Then the cave starts to replenish itself, getting ready for another cycle. Mother Nature inadvertently creates these distinctive geological wonders. The little fork tail may have no idea why the water comes and goes like magic but it and the other denizens of the valley that share this sanctuary are experts in enjoying life in Shenanjia. <laughs>